I'm uh, Ross Walker. I'm a assistant professor at the San Diego Supercomputer Center and the, also in chemistry and biochemistry at the University of California, San Diego. AMBER is a, a molecular dynamics package. It's been around for uh, close to 30 years now. I started working on it about 15 years ago. I'm one of the principal developers of the code. It's used by, we estimate about 10,000 users worldwide, uh, which consists mainly of postdocs and grad students in various research labs. Previously, it was a in order to run long enough simulations to converge your results, you had to have access to massively expensive supercomputers. And it really restricted the access to, to the privileged few that could actually obtain access to these machines. Now with GPUs, we can get a graduate student's desktop to outperform how we used to run on the best supercomputers, even modern supercomputers today. So what we did with Amber 12 was, instead of just doing straight the straight molecular dynamics, we really wanted to make it a completely fully featured package with both the GPU and the CPU support. So the GPU support supports just about everything with a few minor exceptions. It supports almost everything that the CPU code would. And it's actually the same code base underneath. And all you do is you just change the executable from PMMD to PMMD.CUDA. Uh, it runs anywhere from 10 to 20 times quicker. We need good mathematical models for, for simulating the cell wall. So we've been developing new full source parameters and GPUs are critical to that because previously you would generate new parameters and then you'd spend months testing those parameters and then you'd go back and tweak them a little bit and spend months again testing and it was always limited how much you could do. Now we can get the testing done overnight right? so we can, we can almost sit down and they brainstorm and say well what if we change these parameters, what if we do this and we can get the answer back the next day. So not only have GPUs contributed to running longer simulations which allow us to look at actual biological activity and right? like how protein folds and how it activates etc but at the same time they've, they've been instrumental in improving the fidelity of the actual models that we use our surveys and so on of the users suggest about 50 percent of users are now are now using gpus for their calculations people can't wait to get their hands on the latest kit the latest gpus come out they're, they're trying to buy them before anybody else in the field buys them they're, there's people pressuring for new, for new features. And so it's really flattened the landscape. Right? Everybody, even in Eastern Europe and, and India, China, where there might be limited research funding, there's a lot of very smart people who have been held back by not having access to supercomputers before. And now they can, they can do simulations on their desktop for a few thousand dollars uh, for the machine. It's almost to the point now where we could say just about every piece of science is done with the AMBER code, which is on the order of 15 to 1600 citations a year. Uh, GPUs have touched probably all of those.